Hi guys. Uh, this is my first broadcast for this class from the basement studios. This is my basement studio. This is where I set up when I do podcasting. Uh, I'm, I'm on my wife's side of the basement studio, so if you look over here, there's the washing machine, fake fireplace, and over here, a PC. My side is, is the side that usually has <clears throat> the Mac. Uh, what I want to talk to you about today is self-disclosure. We've talked in talking about the Joe Harry window about optimal self-disclosure and about sharing those things about yourself. We're going to move this just a little bit. I don't like that. Okay, over here. Sharing those things about yourself that allow you to become transparent. Uh, but that is in an optimal situation, one in which you are with people you trust, with people you have reason to trust and reason to continue to trust, and people with whom you want to have a continuing relationship. There are other situations in our society where disclosure is being given, and sometimes thoughtlessly. I don't want you to be paranoid about it, uh, uh, but sometimes people are disclosing too much, particularly on Facebook. Facebook has become the social medium of our time, although it is not the only social medium. My, MySpace still has some users. Gather is a Facebook-like uh, 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 social medium for usually used by the middle-aged and old elder. Uh, not too much. I have a spot on Gather. I haven't been on in about three years. Uh, LinkedIn is a professional uh, site for social, uh, social get networking. Um, but Facebook, with over 500 million users, is by far the largest of our social media. There are those who think that you shouldn't disclose anything. In fact, I had uh, a student two years ago who, who had a Facebook account, but had his privacy settings set so high that no one could see him on Facebook. What was the point? Uh, on the other hand, I've also had a student who created a Facebook page called Facebooking While Drunk and then used it while drunk. Not a good idea. What is and should be the rule on, uh, uh, on dis self-disclosure on Facebook? Well, first of all, I think you should think about your mother. Do you want your mother to see what you're putting up? If you don't, maybe you shouldn't disclose it. Second, you should think about potential employers. Do you want potential employers to see what you're putting up? Now, here I differ with many people who, who think that potential employers are spending a lot of time searching Facebook for information about their potential employees. I don't think they're spending a lot of time, but I do think that they are looking, and they are looking to see if they can find you and find things about you. You may want to set your privacy settings so that people who are not uh, uh, friends of yours don't get to see very much, but you also may want to consider, do I really want pictures of me from that party with that beer in my hand when I'm underage on Facebook? Third, third think, of, uh, think of legal issues. And that was why I mentioned the underage drinking. Should you disclose things that would be illegal? Should you disclose that you smoke weed? Should you disclose that you drink even though you are underage? Probably not. <clears throat> and then finally, should you make contact with people you meet on Facebook? Well, remember that Facebook is not a dating site. It's not a site that, that will uh, carefully screen any potential uh, dates or people you might meet. People can pretend to be anything they wish to be. In fact, it isn't too hard to create a fake face Facebook site. Just a couple of years ago, I had another student who created a Facebook site for someone else in the class, put up scurrilous information, and then took the site down. He did it to show how easy it was to create a fake face Facebook site. And it probably still is fairly easy. So consider that. 
uh, as you're as you're putting out information about yourself, someone else may be putting out information about you. My sister has two Facebook sites, and she doesn't know how to get rid of the one that doesn't have any information. So, how much should you disclose in an online environment? Consider who might use it against you. Consider whether you want your parents to know what you've got to say. Consider what you want your friends to know about you. And finally, consider what you might want authorities to know about you. Now, I have a rule about my Facebook site uh, and students. I will accept any students who want to friend me, but I will not seek out students to friend. I think that that's intrusive of your privacy, and if you do not want me there, I don't want to be there. So, uh, my self-disclosure on Facebook, I don't play games. I don't disclose a whole lot. I do talk about my illness because I've made contact with quite a few people who have shared an illness like mine. And I do talk about my, my symptoms because I've got mentors online who are helping me through this thing. But I don't disclose all kinds of details about my life and my illness and what it does to my body and that kind of thing because no one really needs to know that. So, Facebook disclosure, it's the newest place where self-disclosure uh, is an issue. I hope you'll think about it, uh, and we'll see you on Tuesday when we move on uh, to the issues of perception, schemata, rules, stereotypes, um, and I hope you guys are going to have a great weekend. This is a very short little extra video. See you Tuesday. Bye-bye.